Welcome to the murder wagon. <laughs> I haven't been in here in a while. Uh, it's don't don't worry, nobody nobody. It's my knowledge, nobody's actually been. This is a this is a utility elevator. It's a it's a service elevator. I shouldn't have started that way. My dad is uh, visiting. You probably saw him at the end of the last vlog, and he's been here for the whole week. Unfortunately, he missed his trip. He was going to make a trip to Belgium uh, to see some friends. Got sick. Stayed here. So it's been pretty low key week, which has worked out okay because I have a ton on my plate. A lot to do, but if there's anything that I've gotten to really appreciate about my having him here this week when he's been on his feet, has been getting to spend some time with my friends who have been just wonderful. I have some recycling to do down here. This is going to be deeply unpleasant for all of us for just a moment. Beer bottle. Ooh, I hate that so much. The cool thing is that one reflection on this though is like how lucky I am in friends and obviously part of that's putting in some work like personally growing we can talk about friendship another time but i'm so blessed with the people that i have in my life because they actually put in a genuine effort to come out and see my dad you know how many people put in an effort to hang out with other people's parents it's pretty great all right oh hate recycling glass just for that reason Despite not getting to do a ton this week, we still got to do a lot. Like, we got to go eat Dan's world famous pizza, my favorite pizza on the planet. Who knew that a new favorite pizza could enter the arena at this stage in life? Life's just full of surprises. Got to go see a really beautiful new coffee shop, a couple new coffee shops actually, speaking of spending time with friends, and just got to catch up with some people, which was really, really lovely. We even got Richard out into the wild, which is rare. It's good to see him as well. So. This has been a really, really fun week, all in all, but it's gonna end with a quick trip to London, which I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to include much from that trip, but I'm sure we'll find something, you know. There's, there's bound to be something to share. I do have to say that, okay, so I crashed my drone in Cambridge, like two months ago, just haven't gotten around to doing the warranty claim on it. Life's insane and who has time for such things? Finally did it. They they like practically overnighted a replacement drone. I didn't realize there was a drone in it. I just thought it was like a return box I was supposed to use. And then printed out a shipping label and sent it back. That was definitely a very long wait to get that sent, but really impressed. That premium like warranty service, amazing. Crash your drone, get a new one. I mean, I won't, shouldn't encourage you to fly more dangerously, but it's gonna. <laughs> Oh, Rummy! I didn't mean to capture that on camera, it just happened to happen. That. Boo. Before we go for our run, it's important to get Cooper a run. You know when you were a kid and like the older kids would play monkey in the middle with you and if you were young enough and hopefully naive enough you thought it was actually a game that you were enjoying but in reality it was the big kids that were having all the fun. I think Cooper actually really enjoys it and it makes for some really good exercise for him and then we all actually have a lot of fun. It's hilarious. And when he does get it, which he does get it more than, then he gets to tug until I get it back and then we start all over again. It's pretty fun. perspective at least, I guess we'll see what I think when I see them on camera, but it's a little freezing out there, so we'll see how this goes. Well, they definitely cut the wind. These are pretty warm. Speaking of products that I'm really enjoying, that I'm just trying out for the first time, I haven't told you how I'm getting a lot of these shots. And like, like right now, my camera is currently attached to the radiator. There's like a radiator right here. And I'm just attaching it to the pipes magnetically. I'll show you a little bit more about this as we go, but like I've been using it for the last three or four weeks and I love it. 
What do, you, what do you smell? Thank you, appreciate it. I just, I passed my French test. You only need a B1 level to get citizenship. My level of French is definitely much higher than that, but the thing is that if you learn anything about French bureaucracy, it's just do what they ask. Don't worry about overperforming. It's not gonna help you. So I did that one because it's easy to ace in November 2022. So thankfully they accept your test results with your application. So that's all I really needed. But for the actual citizenship interview, they want the real diploma or that's what they call it, a diploma certificate, whatever. And uh, I have not been back to get it this entire time because it is way the freak out of the way. So uh, we're up at Telegraph, which you'd want to look that up on Google Maps. It's nowhere near. I mean, they, they, it's named Telegraph because they still have to use telegraphs to communicate with this part of the city. So it, it took us a while to get here. Anyways, I have it. I got to put together my dossier because there's always another dossier to put together. And hopefully in a few weeks, well, at least it'll be over. Cooper has this thing when he's walking downstairs that he always does it three-legged. And then people think, oh, your dog's injured. More than once, somebody stopped me to let me know that it's like, <laughs> no. This thing is pretty straightforward. Or is it? That's really the question. This is the Kenu stand. Now, I'm gonna to be totally honest with you, I don't actually know anything about this thing. I know the name because it's on the back of this. And basically they had a Kickstarter going and they reached out and were like, hey, would you promote our Kickstarter? And I said, no. I, I can't, I'm not promoting something I've never touched, I've never tried before. Like, come on guys. And then they sent me one. They sent me one. Now this is not sponsored. They haven't paid me anything. They literally just sent this to me. And um, they did give me an affiliate link, which you can use below. Again, I'm not exactly sure how that's gonna work, but I'm gonna, the reason that I'm telling you about it is because like, I really like this thing. It's super compact, like a really qualitative metal. It came with like an additional magnetic ring that I stuck to the back of my phone because like this does work automatically freely with iPhones. We tried that out the other day. <laughs> it's pretty perfect. You know, you use it to get selfies. This is how I've been getting shots of me in the gym. And because it's magnetic, you can just stick it to stuff. Look at this. This is the one downside. The phone is pretty big, so it does overwhelm the little metal joints uh, at the wrong angles, <laughs> slowly. Uh, but that's okay. And then you can flip it on its side, like that. It's pretty phenomenal. I like it. There are other uses for this, of course, because you've got this, you can fold it and slot it into things. You can hang it over things. So I'll be using this on the Eurostar and just put it on the seat in front of me to watch whatever I'm gonna be watching on my phone. It's just really satisfying. I really like the feel of it. And it has, it, it's, here, let me grab my tripod. This was my number one go-to device for like, tripoding around the city. Uh, Joby has these tripods. This one's actually not my favorite because this thing's a little bit bigger than the one that I really like, the clippy part. <laughs> Thanks, Goober. But it's a phenomenal tripod because it folds up in your pocket. It's smaller. It's like a third of the size of your wallet, maybe. This is not how I intended to do this review. And uh, I would just carry one of these around with me all the time. It makes it really easy to just set up your camera, you know, and then walk away and get a bat at the same time. This has been my number one accessory for years, years and years and years. I've, I've, I've loved these things. I used to carry them in my pocket all the time. They were such a time saver because I didn't want to carry around something big and clunky like like a Joby tripod that you know has all the like ball joints and it's just way too much to handle. <laughs> this was a lifesaver. This thing, while it's a little bit wider, is thinner and the other reason that this ha is beneficial is because it fits to the back of my phone i don't have to carry it as a separate thing it just happens this is disgusting <laughs> can, can you please stop over here there you go okay can you lie down thank you that's a very good boy 
The only downside to this thing that I found beyond, obviously it has its limitations. Like filming with the selfie cam is super, or the selfie cam, excuse me, is super, super easy. Filming with the cameras on the back of the uh, phone, which is my preference for everything, is a little bit trickier just because the weight distribution doesn't really work out quite the way you'd want it to to angle, you know, up like that. Otherwise, the only drawback is the additional thickness on the back does make it a little trickier to get in your pocket. And if you have a smaller phone, it's probably about the size of the back of your phone. But other than that, it's really satisfying, smooth matte black to touch. The little rubber footies are also really great. Also makes it safe to stick it to anything, like whether that's in the elevator like I did earlier, on the top of a car, to fences, to kind of anything. As long as you've got enough surface area to get some grip, you can make it happen. And that's how I've been getting these shots with this guy for the last uh, three vlogs now. So I put it through its paces. Like I really like this thing over the course of the last three videos that I've made on the behind the scenes vlogging style of stuff. And I would definitely recommend this if you're in the market for something like this. I think it costs 40 or 50 bucks. I don't remember, which sounds kind of insane, but might be worth it. I mean, if you're looking for, I don't know, I can't tell you if that's worth it or not, but I can tell you that I'm happy with this and I will continue to use it for the foreseeable future. Anyways, I told you I was gonna tell you about it, and now I have, oops, sorry, Cooper didn't mean to elbow you on the hand. Yeah, what are you doing? You I'm running late for a meeting and uh, we should be going the other way to the underground. However, this is probably the only chance my dad's gonna get to see this. And I wanna show him the Christmas tree bookshelves. It's a Christmas tree made out of bookshelves. I like it. <laughs> 